Good morning, and welcome to Internet Fellowship. Today I'm going to read some encouraging words for all of us, and I do this each day. I try to get it done each day. Sometimes I miss, but uh, the world creeps in and gets my mind all boggled where I shouldn't because I should be giving my mind every morning to the Lord. I hope you get out of bed today and uh, say good morning to Jesus before he did anything. And uh, that actuates the spirit in you. And now you're with the Lord today. And you're going to be with him all day as long as you keep him on your mind. Bring him into everything you do. Okay. Here we go. And the words say this. Rest in me, my child, forgetting about the worries of the world. Focus on me, Emmanuel. And let my living presence envelop you in peace. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. God is with us. Tune in to my eternal security, for I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise God. If you live on the surface of life by focusing on ever-changing phenomena, you will find yourself echoing the words of Solomon. Meaningless. Meaningless. Everything is meaningless. We don't want to do that. Living in collaboration with me is the way to instill meaning into your days. Begin each day alone with me so that you can experience the reality of my presence. As you spend time with me, the way before you opens up step by step. Arise from the stillness of our communion and gradually begin your journey through the day. Hold my hand in desperate dependence on me, and I will soothe out, I will smooth out the path before you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And Bible support for this from Matthew 1, verses 22 through 23, Hebrews 13, verse 8. Ecclesiastics 1, verse 2, and Proverbs 3, verse 6. You can read those Bible passages. And maybe the Lord will put some kind of inspiration on your head. And then uh, you can share that with a friend. Maybe a family member, maybe somebody at work. Or maybe just take it into your heart and mull over it throughout the day. Um, it's all about Jesus. He says it in all these passages. He says it throughout the Bible. That I'm the way I read the Bible. It's always the Bible points us right to Him, it gives us much encouragement, but always points you to Him. Okay. And that's where you have to go. To Him. You can't sit out there knowing all the facts. And not go to him. You got to know the facts and go to him, because he is still, and always will be, the great teacher. I think man tries to teach himself for his own security. The spirit teaches us, not us. Praise God, people. Have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace now.